Hey guys, check this out. Whoa, this is the latest MLSO run, Mauna Loa Solar Observatory for yesterday, 2 5 2019. <coughs> Got it at 1807 UTC. Look at all the stuff that's showing up. Holy smokes. This lasted for 11 frames. Step it through. Well, I'll let it play for you. Got it playing on a slow speed there. Take it back. I'm going to start it playing for you. You can watch the bottom ones. Too bad I can't get this whole image in one screenshot. But I mean, that's crazy. Off the speed a little. And this all is a result of, uh, I'm going to show you in a second, we get some high energy electron volt that came in right around this time. Here it is here. So I showed you the image started at uh, February 5th. <clears throat> 1807 was the first one we got. But you can see they're already flooding in. This is at the 4 million electron volt level, which is uh, gamma radiation level. Indicates the presence of a nearby star. Which you don't get this type of electron volts at uh, normal cosmic background radiation. So you can see it's all flooded in and that's when these things were highlighted, these objects on the MLSO. So I just wanted to show you that. Let's go back and look again. Wow. And then we still have our usual suspects and that in here showing. Looks like they cleaned this thing up somewhat. I don't think they wanted us to see all this stuff. No, no, no. So after seeing these images, I went back in and I figured I better try to figure out more about this K-Core coronagraph at the MLSO. So I pulled this up. I found this. It's a Photon Focus MV-D 1024E camera. And it's for uh, the purposes of coronal solar magnetism observations. But it is a photon focus, so it's a light. has to do with light, too, but there may be some type of ma magnetic property as well. This just gets into a lot of technical stuff about how to correct the images. And... Uh, I suspect the image we're seeing here is uh, after the first correction. They do, um, looks like this is the raw data when it comes in. So sometimes when I showed it to you in the past, when everything was streaking around and there was a lot of static, that's what we would get. That's the first raw data images that came in. Then they do a correction, which cleans up the image a little bit more or quite a bit more actually as you can see here and then they do the last correction the fourth order i think this one's probably we're at the second order correction or the second correction i don't think we got <laughs> totally cleaned up images here now you could still see the big stuff showing here on some of these images and look at that, man. That's crazy. I just, so then I kept looking. Well, let's see if there's anything more down here. This is just all technical stuff. I don't, I could post the link, but I don't think it's that, that relevant. Unless you're a super scientist. And I looked for some more images on this camera, and that wasn't a whole lot of help. So then I pulled up these. I went to uh, MLSOK Coronagraph images. And these are basically all the images people posted. 
fact, one of my videos is in here somewhere. And I just saw this dude's stuff on YouTube, so I pulled his stuff up. This isn't the actual vid that showed here. That was from the 28th of December to 2nd of uh, January 2015. 28th December 2014 to 2nd January 2015. <coughs> this, was, this object was just starting to show up on that one. So I pulled this video up. And you can see how clean the images are. And look back then you get like eight days worth of an run whereas we only get about eight hours now here's the dude's channel if you want to check it out i'll try to put the link in the description box and here's what i'm talking about here and then he Well, I guess that is the magnification. He did a zoom in on there. You can see it there. Something there, there. It looks like something there. Maybe something over here. Or over here. Or over here. Unless you click this box down here for your full screen view, you're not going to see exactly all the stuff I'm showing you probably. But anyway, the point being, look how clean this run is. And that's an eight-day run. Yeah, I watched the other one. It was about an eight-day run or more, ten-day run. And basically all clean like this. So this stuff is totally anomalous, all these images we're getting or have been getting. So I went back to, um, this is my profile, one of the pics I put on all my websites, <clears throat> Prophecy Blog, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. <clears throat> and what it is, is it's actually a picture I took with my 3G cell phone camera back in uh, November 2014. This is a shot of the sun with a couple of old shiny floppy disk layers taped over the back of my cell phone lens camera camera lens and this is the sun and this is the nemesis the Beira system and these are ghost images but this is the system as it was making perihelium around the sun perihelion around the sun making the turn in other words because we got this long looping 3600 year elliptical orbit which i believe is true and so it made the turn around the sun somewhere in late february 2014 and these are some of the images i got a good bit of the system here it looks like in my humble opinion and i made quite several videos 100 plus videos on it if you go back and look from late 2014 to September 6, 2015, when they shut down my channel. So, um, I mean, this stuff's here now, guys. It's here. And look at all that. It's crazy. I'm going to show it to you one more time down here, then we'll go look at Iswa. There it is there. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> so I got these three synced. This is the last uh, 300 frames, about 16 hours worth on Iswa. This is the Z cut looking straight down on the planet. These solar wind speed numbers kilometers per second they're all being measured inside the magnetosphere and magnetopause area we had another high nemesis solar wind speed event around 2100 UTC um, on the 5th and that'll roll around here in a second yeah see there it was there 13 
It only lasted a few frames. So it started at uh, 2103. And I hope you click that bottom right box so you got the full screen view there. So it only lasted about 12 minutes, that one. But looking at my hypothesis number two below on my videos. And see that might be a better shot there of the system. But go back in and look at some, some of those older videos I made. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Here's my hypothesis number two. You'll find that under all my videos. This pretty much explains the Nemesis high speed solar winds that we're seeing recorded inside our magnetosphere, magnetopause area. What you got to do is get down here, you'll see the My2 hypothesis, and then this is the one on the big planets and all the stuff that we're seeing showing up in front of the planet on MLSO. This will explain all that pretty well. And uh, then you just have to hit uh, View Reply, and you'll get hypothesis number two. Okay, so back to Iswa. Let's watch this one. You can see all the uh, magnetic field lines piling in in front of the planet from the octopi. And there's a lot of octopi out there. And I got to give astral travel the, the creds on the uh, octopus uh, analogy. He's the first one who coined that when uh, he was making his vids back in the day, referencing uh, magnetic field connections to the earth which were happening even back then from the nemesis uh, binary twin sun the LEF as he called it low energy field because he wasn't getting he was just getting low energy field numbers on the Fock radiation belts back then but now we're getting high energy field rate readings gamma radiation readings which thankfully aren't reaching the planet but this can only be <clears throat> happening with due to the presence of a nearby star or binary twin dwarf brown dwarf sun whatever you want to call it <clears throat> that's what we got going on back here and you can see all the energy piling in so here's all the octopi tentacles piling up in front of the planet we got nemesis behind which I'm labeling the giant squid since it's four to five times the mass of Jupiter allegedly or reportedly you can see its field lines creeping up around the planet so I think we've seen that play through a few times Let's go to ACE. We have like uh, <clears throat> around midnight to 0800. Got the traditional large gap there. Phi angle, it's been up and down <clears throat> pretty much. And I pulled up the three day run on Discover because we had a six hour gap on Discover yesterday, which is pretty strange. I pulled up the discovered tracking ground tracking schedule and there it is there you can see 12 12 UTC to 1629 well so I guess it's a four hour gap but it's a data gap so that has to be from one of these large objects blocking the data relay coming from discover to their earth ground tracking stations Discover last 24 hours. Basically, we got uh, pretty much the strong, still backside connection with Nemesis. Density's not too crazy. Solar wind speed's lower than it's supposed to be. So here's the uh, MLSO before the system made the turn, made the perihelion, or right when it was making it. And here it is today. God bless.